29 forecast. All right, summer 22 in the books. Hello, I'm meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. At times it was a very hot and, it, and also stormy summer. It was hotter than average. We had weather conditions also than average. Here's a great snapshot of the last sunset of the season. Thanks to Sue Kill in Avonbarrow County. This is from the Pantops area looking over downtown Charlottesville and the Blue Ridge Mountains there far in the distance. A few fair weather clouds reflecting that sunset. A nice sunrise coming up as we go towards the 7 o'clock hour. Here's your first forecast across central Virginia today. Mid 50 50s at 9, sunshiny skies, a gusty northwest wind will keep us below average when it comes to those daytime highs, about 10 degrees below average for this time of the year. Barely 70 this afternoon with those northwest winds becoming calm as we go past sunset. Waking up to a chilly start, especially in Stanton, 43 degrees currently is your current temperature and 56 right now in Charlottesville. NBC 29's live Doppler radar scope is showing clear conditions over central Virginia and the Shenandoah Valley. No rainfall in sight. Some of you did get a brief downpour, mainly north of I-64, as that autumn cold front moved on through. Watching those northwest blusters, they're going to kick on in over the next several hours as the sun gets higher in the sky. But eventually by Sunday, the wind will turn more to the southwest, giving us a brief warm-up and maybe a shower chance. All eyes on the eye of major Hurricane Fiona. There's the East Coast. There's the Outer Banks. It will never directly impact the East Coast, but it is producing high surf and rip currents. There's the eye. The eye wall, thankfully, is missing Bermuda. That little dot right there is Bermuda. It will head northbound and head mainly into Nova Scotia and Newfoundland this weekend as a major storm for those folks. I'm watching this system out in the Rockies and the Plains. This is our next weather system that might give us a passing shower or maybe a thunder shower by the end of Sunday and Sunday night. High res weather tracker is showing fair skies today and tonight into tomorrow morning. No other issues on Saturday. That's my pick day of the weekend, really, because Sunday the clouds begin to fill on in. And by the end of the day, especially in the sunny nights, there might be a passing shower or a thunder shower. And this just in this morning, we have a brand new tropical depression, tropical depression nine. It's in the southern Caribbean near the ABC Islands there. As, it, as we go into the next several days, into next week, it'll become a hurricane, cross over western Cuba, and then it has eyes set on Florida, perhaps as a Category 2 hurricane. This is mid-next week. Keep checking back for updates, if you, especially if you have friends or family, if, if you have uh, travel plans that go down to the southeast. Definitely keep an eye on Tropical Depression 9. Here at home, the warmest day will be on Sunday of the next 7. End of next week, we'll have highs in the 60s. Forecast today, upper 60s, low 70s, a brisk, sunshiny day. And for high school football, mid 60s at kickoff, mid 50s by the end of the fourth quarter, you'll need your jacket or the sweatshirt. Overnight lows will be in the 40s. Tomorrow's outlook, 70 to 75 degrees, mostly sunny and pleasant with a light southwest wind. Here's your seven day forecast. Slight shower chance on Sunday. We might get a couple of showers, maybe a downpour into Sunday night. But right now, I'm not really impressed with our rain chances on Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, cooling trend, high 60s and 70s by day, lows back in the 40s.